clock on the dot. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, media partners, we always appreciate your attendance and, of course, coverage of, of important items. And obviously, the item before us now is extremely important to us, uh, and it's the uh, matter of the issue of the boil water notice that was uh, th that took effect uh, Sunday afternoon. Uh, we have uh, management here with us. Uh, I posed um, various questions uh, to management uh, when I heard about the uh, boil water notice, um, and, and they're prepared to answer those questions. Uh, primarily, uh, you know, what caused it? Uh, why did it occur again? Uh, uh, could it have been prevented? Uh, were our protocols not followed? And if they were followed, you know, what happened? Uh, uh, and then, of course, corrective actions. You know, what actions are we taking to correct this? Uh, and ultimately, um, council will will meet. I'm hoping that we'll meet once you know this process is over, and hopefully the bull water notice is concluded, so uh, council can can give the final review, and uh, and apply whatever other corrective actions that uh, council may decide to take at that time. Uh, so that's that's more or less the uh, process that we would like to follow. And with that in mind, you now call upon our city manager, Mr. Robert Eats, and he in turn will call on the director of utilities and then um, uh, I believe that the TCEQ people may, may be here with us to answer questions uh, and that we do have also uh, the gentleman that is doing the, uh, the water master plan for Laredo in the event that you all have any questions for him as well and uh, he's prepared to answer questions. We're all prepared to answer questions. This is your moment here uh, and I'm sure you all have a lot of questions just like we do. Uh, or at least I've had, and I'm, I'm sure, and council members have as well. Uh, so, uh, Mr. City Manager, would you uh, proceed, please? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, unfortunately, today we're here to discuss the current boil water notice that was recently issued throughout the city what the root causes are and what has been done about it and what can be done to prevent it from happening in the future. I want to begin by apologizing to the community, to all the residents, to all the business owners, to the mayor, city council. This is not acceptable. I realize that and I make no excuse for that. As city manager, I'm committed to fix this issue, whether it be an operational or mechanical one or both. I remain committed to working side by side with not only uh, our internal uh, people and processes, but also with TCQ in order to be guided to the best solution possible for our entire water system, including the quickest solution to get us back on our feet and on stable ground. As you know, in 2019, we worked alongside TCQ to prepare and enact a plan that required guidelines and put in, and we put into place guidelines, we added uh, it added new chlorination equipment at key points in our water system and we had a greater emphasis on mitigating stagnant water, especially in dead end lines, by flushing and looping these lines. Unfortunately, through our investigation that we opened after Saturday night's notice that we would have to issue a bowl of water uh, notice at the time, and, and I'm sorry, our investigation that we opened after Saturday's boil water notice is looking precisely at what was done, what was not done, and identifying what is an ongoing infrastructure issue that we can only fix by design or during the process, during the development process. So far though, we, we have found through this investigation that some of the required processes at the water plants themselves were not followed entirely correctly. Through data collection from our own SCADA systems, which is our electronic monitoring systems, we have identified but not have definitively concluded yet that lower than the required amounts of chlorine that were being sent out to plants was uh, one of the culprits. Again, we're investigating this, but we do believe that this is a major part of the failure to maintain the required chlorine, chlorine levels. We also believe that the dead end lines and other low flow or no flow areas of this stagnant water has led to this low chlorination levels. We hope to soon conclude the investigation today to take corrective actions to include personnel actions, operation changes, or both. We must fix this problem 
once and for all. We must also continue to work our way out of this bull water notice. This will continue to be done working side by side with TCQ on a daily basis in order to get the best plan for Laredo and our water system as a whole. We will work to tighten even more so the controls we have in place. We will also have even greater oversight within this department, adding even more layers of checks and balances to ensure this, this does not happen again. And as of later today, we will initiate a citywide chlorine conversion program to ensure the most effective, surest, and quickest way to come out of this boil water notice. We will work with TCQ daily to report our findings and provide them results so that we may be able to have this boil water notice lifted as soon as possible. And finally, while we do encourage the boiling of water if you are to consume it, we also understand the need of our community. Just yesterday, we had five distribution sites delivering over 60 pallets of water to our community, and we will continue this effort again with even more water as soon as tomorrow. We will continue to provide the public with as much bottled water as possible, as frequently as possible. Again, I apologize to the community for this issue, but rest assured that we will root out this problem once and for all and to set us on the right course forward from here on out. I'd like to call upon our utilities uh, director, Mr. Arturo Garcia. He can explain to us uh, operationally what we are facing, what we're looking at, what we have found, and then the corrective actions we plan to take um, as soon as today. Mr. Garcia. <laughs> bueno. Um, Sí, bueno, en, en español, eh, primero a la gente de la comunidad, eh, eh, estoy aquí, estamos aquí hablando de, del Bow Water Notice que se llevó a cabo. Um, primeramente también um, uh, le quiero um, pedir el, el perdón o el, uh, el disculpa um, por lo que está pasando. No debe estar pasando como gerente o regente de la ciudad. Uh, es mi cargo para encontrar lo que está pasando, a cambiarlo y a tener un plan uh, adelante con esos cambios. Lo que estamos viendo eh, de los datos, porque si sí, en, en En el año 2019, en trabajando con CCQ, nos dieron un plan de seguir para estar seguros que estamos haciendo eh, lo que se requiere hacer para, para tener eh, los niveles correctos y todo trabajando bien. Y lo que estamos viendo ahorita, enviando todos los datos, eh, cuando lo estamos checando, no estamos viendo que todo se estaba eh, procesando eh, como se debería hacer. Con eso, eh, estamos investigando y, y vamos a hacer los cambios necesarios. Uh, si es parte de personal, si es parte de equipo, si es, es parte de proceso, eh, se van a hacer los cambios. Y se van a hacer inmediatamente ya que estamos seguros en el reporte que va a salir eh, para el fin del día. Uh, para nosotros ya tiene que terminar eh, esta idea de, de de Boa Water Notice con, con nuestro sistema. Ya sabemos que tenemos eh, 2,000 uh, áreas de que son dead ends, que no, no se mueve el agua, pero con eso también sabemos los problemas yendo uh, adelante y ya sabemos cómo se puede manejar y trabajar. Y si es falta de personal o si es eh, eh, al último eh, algo que tenemos que hacer eh, o hacer cambios En ese sentido, eh, lo vamos a hacer y lo vamos a hacer inmediatamente. Uh, ahora quiero hablar, uh, pedir al señor García que nos explique eh, la sistema, qué es lo que ocurrió, qué es lo que está pasando y cómo lo vamos a resolver inmediatamente. Si me permite, por favor. A lo mejor le, le van a... Good morning, Arturo Garcia, the uh, Utilities Director. First of all, to reiterate what the City Manager just stated, my sincerest apologies to our customers, our businesses, 
this should not be happening. And uh, I would like to apologize again. I'm sorry. And uh, the distribution system recently has experienced low total chlorine as a result of operational errors at the Jefferson Water Treatment Plant. That contributed to the low chlorine level in our water lines. And an investigation continues on any disciplinary action to personnel at fault. Levels leaving the plant currently are, have been restored to normal levels. We are gonna implement free chlorine conversion to eliminate any potential contaminants that may exist. Free chlorine process is done twice yearly here in the city of Laredo. It's something that we've done in the past, but we, that is the best tool available to us right now to be able to get ourselves out of this situation. The boil water notice was issued as a precautionary measure to protect the public at the request of TCEQ. No bacteria has been found in our system. Staff continues to flush and check levels of chlorine in our system to confirm if nitrification is occurring. Additional resources are being utilized by, from TCEQ. Staff, technical staff will be assisting us and they have loaned us equipment to be able to continue to monitor the whole system to assist us. Every effort is being made to lift ourselves out of this boil water notice. New monitoring systems will be installed as they, as they leave the plant to where I can get a report immediately if levels go below a certain value. That is being implemented to assist as a second safety net for our system. Again, my sincerest apologies. This should not be happening for a city of this size, and I'm sorry to our customers, and I'm sorry to our local businesses. Thank you. Thank you. At this point, I think we can we can open up for questions. Buenos días. Este soy director de utilities, Arturo García. Como dijo el, el manejador. Quiero dar el, los sentimientos míos de esta cosa no deben estar pasando aquí. Lo los siento mucho para los clientes y los negocios de aquí de Laredo. Vamos a hacer todo posible para salirnos de esta notificación de hervir el agua. Estamos haciendo todo posible. Lo que pasó en la planta de Jefferson, en el sistema, nos hallamos un cloro bajo que salió, que nos afectó y salió bajo en los sistemas, en las tuberías. Estamos investigando las personas que estaban operando para saber qué acción tomar. Los niveles están regresando a normal. El cloro, vamos a convertirlo, vamos a hacer un free chlorine conversion para eliminar la posibilidad si hay contaminantes en el sistema. Este proceso lo hacemos dos veces al año y es algo que vamos a hacer porque es lo mejor que podemos hacer ahorita. La notificación de hervir el agua vino por precaución, algo para proteger a la gente. No nos hemos hallado ninguna bacteria en el sistema. Los empleados de nosotros siguen tomando análisis y vamos a seguir buscando los, los niveles to ensure that they are well in the system. TCEQ is giving us a hand with the technicians and more with the team to be able to take more analysis in the system. Again, I feel much for the clients of the city of Laredo and the businesses from here in the city of Laredo. No debe estar pasando esto aquí en este, la ciudad de Laredo. Muchas gracias. I am investigating that currently, and I will be conducting interviews with the personnel that were working at that time. No, 
el de hervir el agua, es lo que está preguntando. Bueno, el aviso lo vamos a tratar de sacar el sistema afuera de, de hervir el agua, pero necesitamos hacer los análisis. El sistema del cloro que vamos a hacer va a durar 30 días. Este, pero nomás donde hagamos los, las medidas que necesitamos hacer, podemos sacar áreas afuera del, del, de la zona de hervir. Pero eso falta que tomes un análisis. Pues, el, de primero en unos tres días voy a poder saber si vamos a sacar unas áreas. El nivel que tenía era bajo, porque necesitaba que llegara a un punto para poder, en donde entrara en el sistema, podía cargar por todo el sistema. Es un, un, un valor que estuvo muy bajo. Sí, el, el aviso es un requisito del Estado. Si tienes cloros bajos en el sistema, necesitas mandar esa notificación. Es para proteger los clientes, los ciudadanos de aquí de la red. Como están bajos, por eso es, mandamos esa notificación. Lo que pasó en la planta, el, donde estaba descargando el cloro, el número salió bajo. Como las líneas que corren, tan largas las líneas, ese cloro se bajó donde caminó en, las, en los tubos porque normalmente lo tenemos a un nivel que siempre estamos operando, estábamos bajo de ese nivel. Entonces, ¿me no, no, había, ¿No le pusieron suficiente cloro? No estaba cargando suficiente cloro de la planta. ¿Pudieran haber despedido los personales después de la investigación? ¿Mande? No. ¿Los responsables pudieran haber despedido? Sí, sí. sí. Bueno, Yo, y eso es, lo que estamos, perdón, eso es lo que estamos investigando ahorita, y es cosa de personal y lo vamos sí. a manejar. Pero también les quería decir también o explicar más detallado en esto también. Aparte del cloro que va bajando, también todavía tenemos los sistemas igual que tenemos eh, agua estancada, que no ha cambiado. Eso no nos ayuda para nada. Y no estamos diciendo que por esa, nomás, esa razón de no mandar el nivel alto de, de, de cloro que se tiene que mandar es todo junto que nos bajó el volumen de, de lo que se, se requiere de, de, de cloro. Todo, todo junto eh, y nosotros vemos inmediatamente en los datos que esa parte del proceso no se, no se hizo bien. So, agregándole también que tiene estancado, el agua estancado, que está, siempre hace el calor, vamos, todo eso nos llega a este punto. Y es lo que estamos ahorita con esa parte, eh, especialmente de parte de personal, es lo que estamos viendo. Porque todo lo demás estamos en, dentro del proceso que vamos, estamos trabajando con TCQ, pero lo que podemos afectar inmediatamente, si es personal, eso vamos a afectar inmediatamente. Y eso, eso es, está en, en la investigación ahorita. Tenemos que hacer todo eh, bien, bien detallado, eh, con datos también, porque también eh, si vamos a hacer un ajuste, un cambio, tiene que ser por parte de, de esos datos que nos dice que algo no se hizo, o no se hizo bien, o no se hizo eh, cuando se necesitaba hacer. ¿Cómo está el Well, there was a complaint, but the situations are totally different. Um, the, 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 there was a customer that was complaining that water, they, were, they had a water quality issue. The state went and investigated. Uh, once we got the notice, then we went out there and started flushing like we normally do. We go out there and address the, the problem area. 
uh, upon further monitoring, there were more areas found that had low chlorine. So then we expanded the flushing to raise the levels. And what happened, because of what happened at the Jefferson Water Treatment Plant, you had water that had low chlorine. That low chlorine, as it goes through the pipes, gets eaten up, gets used up. So then the values further out are going to be low. So that's what transpired. Yes. Eso no, no sé ahorita, no tengo la información, es ahorita. El, el, está, está, está levantándose el cloro, el, el cloro se está levantando, pero como tuvimos el problema, necesitamos ahora tomar más información de, del sistema y demostrarlo de al Estado. That, that'll be addressed further, I'm sure. I mean, we'll be discussing that. But, but also, too, uh, we know it's a, a very, very big inconvenience to a lot of people. Uh, but we, we still are providing technically, you know, water's going through the system. Uh, we, you are able to use it outside of having to boil if you consume it. Uh, but we want to make sure people understand you can take a bath in it, you can brush your teeth with it. Uh, it's only if you're going to consume it, if you're going to drink it, if you're going to use it for uh, food preparation, that is when you would change that. Having to deal with any sort of idea that we would, uh, with our customers, that would have to be uh, definitely addressed. Uh, yeah. My apologies, my apologies, I misspoke, my apologies. Um, yeah, so to answer, I'm sorry, the question on, on the reimbursement, that would come at a later date. Right now, what our focus is for sure is making sure that, one, uh, we, we find the problem, we find the root of the problem. And, and that's why we have TCQ working alongside us and saying, again, you know, we had a plan, an approved plan by TCQ in 2019. We all agree this is what we need to do to make sure our system is, is, is managed and, and continues to have all the different levels in place. If, you, if we don't have follow through with that plan at whatever level, at the operator to the water plant level, uh, you will have issues happen. We also know, I mean, without a doubt, uh, we all are challenged too. I mean, COVID has changed even the amount of people we have to even go flush lines. So, you know, with us, we're, we're wanting to make sure that we're, at, we're addressing this as quickly as we can too. But if we know that there is an issue some more specifically that we can do more immediate, that's, that's what we're trying to address right now. But in, in respect to how we do it, it needs to be done correctly. It needs to be done um, to ensure that uh, we, we do investigate the entire matter. Uh, but we also want to do it as quickly as we can because uh, if we need to make changes, like I said, we'll, we'll be making those changes very quickly. That complaint, I believe, is made, done last week. The exact date, I don't have, but I can provide that to you. Va a ser, creo que va a ser un poquito más de eso, pero para decirle otra vez a lo mismo. You know, again, we're going to work to. to to get the system back online. We're gonna to continue to work with our, our public. We expect to have uh, distribution, uh, water distribution uh, tomorrow. We plan to have about double of what we did before. Uh, so um, I, I believe we did about 60 pallets. We'll be doing over 100 pallets of water tomorrow. Uh, but we continue to ask, um, you know, everybody to, um, to continue with us, uh, to know that we're trying to get out as quickly as possible and to understand that we might as soon as this afternoon already uh, be in the free chlorine process. And, and to explain that real quick and, and so that we're clear, uh, there's different processes you can take to get to um, have a boil water notice removed or taken away. Uh, the final process or the, the, the quickest 
or the most final process is this free chlorine conversion process that we do twice a year. Uh, in talking to TCQ yesterday, we, we all agreed to say, can we not just go to that already? And so that we stop you know, the trying of that, the trying of this, we all agree that that is the quickest, most sure way to go ahead and get us where we need to be. Uh, but also while we do that, we need to make sure that we uh, also have a plan moving forward where we don't see this again. Because uh, I don't wanna be here in front of you all again. I don't need uh, to be in front of the city council. You don't need to be uh, bothered with having to boil, uh, whether you're at home or business. And so we're gonna make sure that we get that done. And so I challenge our utilities director to make whatever action needs to happen. And then um, I'll challenge further to make sure that at my level and beyond things are, are, are being done to make sure we don't have, have this happen again. Robert, the expectation of this uh, boil water notice, I mean, it's, it's easy to go beyond the uh, three day period, correct? So to explain that, um, it could be as quick as we believe the 72 hours of three days and what was talked about with the uh, chlorine conversion, it lasts 30 days. But in talking to TCQ directly in Austin and all of their um, uh, employees that they're telling us is that uh, they're able to go ahead and, and lift the bowl water notice at a certain point as, as soon as the quickest be three days, four days, whatever it may be, while we go through the uh, conversion. Because essentially what you're doing is you're actually solving your chlorine problem immediately. And then what you do is take tests for the next couple days and, and, and you're, you're gonna be uh, out, of, out of the woods. But that conversion takes you know, either 14 or 30 days. And so we're gonna keep running that program to make sure that, that we're set. So our expectation, my expectation to the utilities department is to get us out fast and as fast as we can do it. And it, that, that is looking like as soon as, you know, we hope, 72 hours, if not very soon thereafter, and so that we can start lifting areas and start getting people back online. Is that correct? That's correct. We're making every effort possible. Uh, the, the TCQ technical resources will be meeting with me this afternoon. So we're making every effort to get operations back to normal. TCQ apparently uh, texted uh, Mr. Ria Azul, and, and apparently they will not be here for uh, any to answer questions, but they will be issuing a statement later on today. Oh, they do? Okay. So you'll have access to it. Thank you so much. If you'll have any other questions, we're here to answer questions.